giving the pathway to miracles with the title of this video and um less than 188 sorry less than 188 of a course in miracles says uh giving and receiving are one in truth now um to talk about this i'd first like to talk about my early years um with a very inflated ego since uh, since childhood i always felt this experience of lack or fear and separation or not enough or not being enough and this manifested early on in uh, this uh, need to control something or get something from the world uh, to make me feel better uh, manifested in food addiction early on and when eating food I got temporary comfort uh, from this feeling of fear separation and lack and neediness um, I found that the addiction was progressive and by the age of 30 uh, the extreme fear and multiple addictions had led to uh, suicidal binge eating in buffet restaurants extreme workalism and adrenaline addiction the stock market and uh, sex and love addiction which um, at about the age of 30 on a business flight from uh, uh, from new york to london resulted in my feet swelling and uh, being admitted to the royal free hospital with kidney failure and doctors fighting to save my life uh, this this extreme uh, circumstance which led to my life starting to flash before my eyes and uh, and an unconscious turning to god and what was experienced was a spiritual experience an infinite peace and stillness uh, came upon me and in this heavenly timeless peace there was a message find a spiritual solution uh, this then led to uh, spiritual exploration, meeting a Course in Miracles teacher in America, and also uh, uh, and starting the Course in Miracles and doing the daily lessons, and also meeting a spiritual teacher in Brixton, who was also aware of the Course in Miracles. And he taught something very similar to uh, Lesson uh, 33 of A Course in Miracles, which talks about being um, being uninvolved or detached from my inner and outer world. And in that way, in that practice, um, uh, there was the development of the awareness of a witness or observer, which would, uh, and as I, as I practiced uh, detaching from uh, the thoughts and feelings, uh, and identifications of my ego this uh this witness there was becoming apparent uh on a one-to-one -one meeting with the teacher i told him look i'm aware that uh what i am is, is a witnesser there is a witnesser behind me that's watching everything and he said what's behind that and i had a a, a white light spiritual experience the world disappeared in infinite power, light, and love beyond all imagination. And the incredible intensity of light and power was far greater than anything I'd experienced in this life. Uh, eventually I did come out of that and the world appeared, but there was extreme bliss. The world was witnessed to, uh, to, be, uh, to, to be exquisitely beautiful. As a teacher ushered me to leave his, his um, office uh, the stunning beauty the stunning timeless beauty of Brixton, Brixton was revealed uh, as the body walked to the tube station and the exquisite perfection of all humans that I saw on the tube led to tears falling from my eyes Eventually that experience dissolved back into my normal ego state of consciousness, but it was very profound. Um, and uh, while continuing to do the, um, the daily course lessons, uh, I 
I sought help for my food addiction in a spiritual uh, recovery group, which uh, was whose aim was to uh, turn my life and my will over to God, get a spiritual awakening and conscious contact with God. And um, by doing this and uh, surrendering, uh, surrendering the food addiction, uh, with help, I then started helping uh, others. Um, and um, this thing of to give, uh, to give and receive is one in truth. As I started to help uh, one person in the food program to help them surrender their food addiction, their craving for something outside of them to make them feel better and to try and uh, awaken to spirit uh, through, through that program, um, I found that a miracle would occur in my life. And then I, was, I took on another person I was helping. Eventually, I was helping seven people and with each person I helped and tried to help them release their craving for something outside of themselves um, to uh, fix them. Um, um, and uh, at, the, at that time, I was on a dialysis machine eight hours a day to keep me alive. But I was finding more and more miracles were happen happening as I had this attitude of uh, uh, sharing uh, the, the spiritual awakening that I had received by surrendering the needy craving energy and the idea that I needed something outside of me to fix me. So. Uh, Someone asked me to help them, and I said yes. That was going to be the eighth person I was supporting. And two days later, I had a phone call in the middle of the night from the Royal Free Hospital that they had a transplant ready for me. And uh, I'm now uh, uh, I now have a successful kidney transplant and have been off a dialysis machine for um, for well over ten years. And what I saw as I tried to uh, seemingly help others find spirit uh, by releasing their ego and, and this, uh, this idea that they need to crave something outside of themselves to uh, fix them uh, and start to adopt the opposite attitude, which is that uh, to connect to the spirit and to give and help others. So I found that, you know, so many miracles occurred uh, in my life as I had this opposite attitude to what my ego was, which was taking or controlling the world to feel better, to get relief from my constant uh, experience of fear, separation, craving, and feeling not good enough. So I saw the principle of to give is to receive. Uh, in the miraculous effects that having the opposite attitude uh, and practicing the opposite attitude to what my ego would want to do was, was, that I was having in my life. I was also helping people to uh, detach uh, and uh, be uninvolved in their ego thoughts, feelings and the world and uh, become aware of something an inner state, an inner witnessing, which is not uh, subject to the to the changing world or the transitory thoughts or events in in the world. And um, I met one guy um, uh, after a spiritual group uh, in a church basement, and I, sp I was speaking to him, and he said um, that he was traumatized as a child. Uh, and and seemed to be in a lot of uh, distress uh, with his early childhood trauma. So I asked him, you know, if he could detach from his thoughts, his images, uh, and his story, even uh, detach from his body, and see if there was a witnesser or observer, something deeper that was not the story or the drama or the feelings that were going on for him in his emotional state. And he, be he became aware, he became aware of a, uh, a witnessing state 
and that was beyond his his ego and his body. I just asked him, are you in distress or affected by your trauma? And he said, no, it was completely gone. The detaching from the story, the feelings and the drama had led to a place of peace and presence for him where the pain dissolved. It was another example for me that to help others let go of the effects of the uh, ego that was having powerful effects for myself and others. And there was great joy in witnessing the miracles occurring in my life and in others' lives as this attitude of uh, giving uh, and, re and receiving. Uh, another instance was I was helping um, a young lady with her food addiction. And we both said a prayer together to surrender our lives to God. Uh, and as we both said this prayer, as soon as we had said it, there was this uh, joy which was in both of us exactly at the same time. And there was a unity and a oneness and a joy of both sharing our commitment to surrender, to surrender our lives uh, to, to God. And, it sh and, I was re and there was real awareness of the unity and oneness uh, that occurs as uh, one is releasing the ego. So all of these experiences for me um, reaffirm uh, lesson 108 uh, of A Course in Miracles to give and to receive a one in truth. Um, as one has the opposite attitude uh, to the ego, to be in fear, to take, to need something, to control something, the world to feel better and escape the constant feeling of fear or, and separation and lack. Um, by doing the opposite, in fact, it brings in uh, miracles, grace, infinite peace and presence and moves uh, and moves one to the holy instant, dissolving all conflicts, uh, positionalities and dualities that are held within the ego until there's a unity and a oneness and a timelessness that is beyond uh, the identifications of the limited ego. Uh, 